Well, hello everybody. So this is my first video. Um, I've, obviously, I've done vlogs, and I thought I'd try a video because if you've watched my last vlog, my life it really isn't that interesting for me to vlog it every day. So I thought I'd do a video instead, and it's actually a lot more comfortable with the fact that I don't have to hold my camera like that, and my arm starts to ache. I've made a list of first world problems because we all have them. So I want you guys to appreciate what you have basically because even though we moan about really stupid little things you know it's always good to remember there's always going to be someone that's worse off and that person would actually do so much to be in your position. So yeah I've got my list of first world problems so let's get started. Number one when you're at the shopping centre and the escalators don't work. Right. Don't get me wrong, I'm all about being healthy, but, you know, some days I don't feel like using the stairs. What I find really weird is actually when you're walking up escalators, when you know they're meant to be moving, it feels so weird. The first few steps that you take on the escalator and the first few steps that you take when you're walking off, it just, it's really weird. I don't know if I'm the only one. Number two, I actually do this quite often. After I've brushed my teeth, after like 10-15 minutes, I start to get hungry and I hate eating after I've brushed my teeth. I just feel so dirty, I've just brushed my teeth, they feel all nice and clean. I'm not about that kind of life, sorry guys. Number three, this is more so for girls but I'm sure there's boys out there that might do it. Um, I usually apply my nail polish the night before doing something, so if I'm going out, if I know I'm going out the next day I'll probably do it the night before because I'm usually always in a rush when I'm getting ready and then I never end up doing my nails. You know I think I'm going to sleep with my nails dry but when I wake up in the morning I've got like little hair dent imprints and it's so annoying. Number four. four. <laughs> I absolutely hate when I have to decide whether I'm going to order Chinese or pizza. I don't know about the people in other countries but I think in England it's a big thing, it's a big deal ordering Chinese or pizza. Number five, I think a lot of British people will be able to relate with me. I'm sure there's other people that do it as well in other countries. I hate making myself a cup of tea and the biscuit either not fitting or you accidentally, you know, have too much fun of dipping into the tea that when you actually pick, pick, when you actually take the biscuit out falls in, then that's the worst thing ever. That, that's just know you failed at life when your biscuit falls into the tea. Number six, I think we're on number six, I've lost count already. When you lose your phone and it's on silent. I don't do it as often now because I usually have my phone on loud quite a lot. You do that thing where you put it somewhere and then you don't know and they're like, oh I can call it, oh wait no, it's on silent. Number seven, I hate getting into bed and then realising I need a wee. It's like my body doesn't realise it can tell me that it needs a wee before I get into bed because it is such a mission to get out of bed when you need a wee even though it's so satisfying after you've had that wee. Number eight! Am I number eight? Oh my god I'm terrible. I think we can all relate to this. Having nothing to wear. I don't know who came up with that sentence and why we use it but it's just terrible. Guys we have stuff to wear, we do not need to complain about not having anything to wear because we obviously do. What's annoying as well is, in England, I think we're going through that stage now where in the morning it's really really cold and throughout the day it'll be nice and warm, you know, it'll start to warm up slowly and then at night it's cold again. I had this problem at school where I'd be deciding do I bring a coat or do I just leave my uniform on because I used to hate having to carry my coat when it's warm. I don't know why, but I should appreciate the fact that I actually have a coat, so yeah, that is shocking as well. Number nine, when you're doing homework or you're doing coursework or whatever you're doing, you type your question into Google and it doesn't have an answer. Google, you know everything. Why do you not have an answer for my question? I've realized this at uni as well. So you're doing such specific subjects. Sometimes Google does not have an answer. And the only way you can get an answer is by using a textbook. But the problem is that either the library doesn't have it because everyone else has borrowed it and you all suck if you've used books and you haven't returned them. Or 
or you have to buy the book and you have to spend an extortionate amount on textbooks. Universities, why do you make us pay £9,000 a year and can't even provide us with textbooks? Why? Ten! I think I'm on ten. This is terrible. I talk too much. Forgetting your towel when you get into the shower. I don't usually do this often because we do have a towel rack in our bathroom and we usually keep it on there but sometimes I do feel like you know keeping my towel on after I've showered so I take it into my room and then the next day when I shower it's just not there and then you have to do that little stupid little run into your room or wherever, wherever your towel is that should actually be a sport how fast you can get your towel without anyone seeing you that should actually be a sport that, that should, should actually, actually be a sport, be a sport. But yes, that is the end of my video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if I blabbed. I blabbed. I need to learn to speak as well. Not only vlog, but speak. If there's anything else that you think are first world problems, leave them in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you like it. I don't know why I'm doing this because the like button's probably down there, down there. When you actually import videos onto the computer, I think the screen flips. I don't know. If it's one of these sides. And be sure to subscribe so you get notifications video and I've realised I actually use my hands so much in videos and vlogs but yes toodles I'm using my arms again I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have my arms and hands arms hands are your arms part of your hand are your hands part of your arms no because that's shocking okay I might do a different video for this 